Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. And today, I'm going to be reacting to Is the Attack on Fatma a Sheer Propaganda? So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum. The Sunni brothers say that what the Shia say about Fatima uh, is said. not true. It is Shia propaganda. Their scholars, sheikhs, have drilled into this community, into their community, so they are not prepared to even listen. Plus, their blind love for the first two caliphs of history makes them think <coughs> it is impossible that this occurred. Is it Shia propaganda? And secondly, how do we break this barrier so they actually look at evidence before dismissing it? Or should we not bother with them? One, one brother who looked into this said to me he saw the evidence and broke up his barriers. But then a scholar showed him Sayyid Fadlullah, late of Lebanon statement, where he says threats were made but no fire was set and Muhsin not martyred it did not happen therefore it did not happen there is no convincing evidence other than threats were made did he say this to please saudi arabia and others or is he being misrepresented please do forgive me there's some typos here i think this please do clear up as serious matter as they say to opinions among shia Number one, what happened to Fatima to Zahra is not a Shia propaganda. It is a Sunni books facts. When we say that Fatima to Zahra, the daughter of the Prophet, was being threatened and they brought <coughs> fire to her house and they burnt the door of her house and they did what they did all are mentioned in Sunni books Sunni books with all their trials to hide the acts of their leaders of Saqifa, still the Sunni books have got hundreds of evidence that Fatima to Zahra was being attacked in the Sunni books when they come and write the last statements of Abu Bakr. I'm quoting from Sunni books. Abu Bakr said, three things I committed in my life, I wish that I did not. Number one, I wish that I did not attack the house of Fatima. Even if it was full of war against me, which means he is repenting, he is mentioning that he did attack the house of Fatim. In the book called Tariq Tabari, Tariq Al Tabari, well known book of history, and Tabari is very well known Sunni Alim. Tabari narrated that Umar ibn al-Khattab came with fire to burn the house of Fatima and Fatima <coughs> saw him and asked him Ibn al-Khattab أَجِئْتَ لِتُحْرِقَ عَلَيْنَا دَارَنَا Did you come to burn our house on us? 
He said yes. Unless you give allegiance to the government. Otherwise, I will burn your house. That is in Tariq Tabari. In the famous book of Ibn Qutayba, which is known as Al-Imama wa Siyasa, famous Sunni book, one of the oldest Sunni books in history. Read what happened to Fatima. So it is not a matter of propaganda. It is a matter of facts. Fatima السلام, was being victimized. And that's why she passed away in very young age. She didn't have heart attack. Very young lady. She died in very early age, very young age, because of the sufferings. In fact, she died as Shahida. As the, our Imams said in the narrations that she died as a Shahida, martyred. So, this is the facts. And read what Sunni ulama, especially those who are really scholars, like the Saudi scholar, Sheikh Hassan Farhan al-Maliki from Riyadh. He himself said that through his research, he found 18 different narration chains that Fatima was attacked, her house door was burnt, her child was aborted, and what happened to Fatima from the injustice? And he said, for him, it is completely authentic that Fatima was being vic victimized, attacked, and all the things, things which are mentioned in their own books. Now I want you to ask your brother who claims that it is propaganda. Where is the grave of Fatima? Where is it? Unknown. Why? Because she made a will that she did not want those who did wrong to her to take part in her funeral. Also, ask him, do you believe in the book of Bukhari or not? They will say, yes, we believe in Bukhari. Okay. In Bukhari itself, in Bukhari itself that Fatima was angry. Fatima demanded her right from the Saqifa ruler, Abu Bakr, and he refused to give her. And in Bukhari, فوجدت علي means she got angry on him ولم تكلمه حتى ماتت and she boycotted even talking to him till she died that's in Bukhari فاطمة did not talk to him till she passed away in Bukhari itself that a Muslim is not allowed to boycott other Muslim more than three days. Then how come Fatima boycotted talking to the person who was the head of the government all the period of her life till she passed away? Should be a reason. In Bukhari itself, in other part of the book, the Prophet said, Fatima is part of me. Anything that annoys her, annoys me. Anything which angers her, makes me angry. 
it is not matter of propaganda. It is matter of facts. Now you mentioned someone that is his own opinion. He lived in certain circumstance and he had, had some opinion or maybe because of the situation of his country politically. But we have got thousands of scholars, Sunni scholars and Shia scholars. Famous Sunni scholar, Ibn Abil Hadid, very famous Sunni scholar. He has written full book. Read what he wrote about Fatima and the injustice done to Fatima alayhi salam. Those who want the truth should go for the truth. We are not being taught in Islam to twist the facts. Fatima was being victimized. Let me give you some other evidence. You know, well-known sheikh by the name of Ibn Taymiyyah, who is the godfather of the Wahhabism, and who is the godfather of most of the terrorist groups, Taliban, ISIS, all the groups who kill people, their biggest scholar, their godfather, is Ibn Taymiyyah. As you read from their literature, they always bring his, they quote him. Ibn Taymiyyah was a well-known opponent of Ahlul Bayt. People started complaining against him that you became enemy of Ahlul Bayt. So he wanted to defend himself. He wrote a book to defend himself. And the book is available. It was, the book was published many times. And we have got a copy of it. In the book of Ibn Taymiyyah called Risalatun Fi Fadli Ahli Al-Bayti Wa Hukukihim in Arabic. Regarding the status of Ahlul Bayt and their rights. He mentioned Fatima and her sons, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. And he stated that the injustice done against Hassan and Hussein is not as big as the injustice done to their mother. Hmm. Which means that the injustice done to their mother is much more. That is in his own book. Go and ask him or ask the Wahhabi sheikhs who did the injustice to Fatima? Your sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah is saying the injustice done to Fatima is more than, than the injustice done to Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. Imam Hassan was killed by poison by Muawiyah. Imam Hussein was killed by Yazid and his army. Yet the injustice done to their mother is more. Who did the injustice to their, mo to their mother? That is in the book of Ibn Taymiyyah. So ask them. It is not a matter of forgetting the brothers. Facts are facts. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>
um what do you guys get from this entire video let me know your comments always welcome remember to be kind make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video